bring this back to council for discussion. This discussion is on the resolution. Um, and just so the public knows, this is a resolution. We are going to meet on uh, Monday night, December 3rd. We have uh, organization for development. We're going to have a special meeting that night to introduce the amendments to the ordinance that we passed it tonight. And then the week after that, we will pass what's said in this resolution as ordinance. Okay, back to council. Discussion? Um, yes, sir. Mr. I had a question. One of the items Mr. Hill was talking about was that the Redskins would allocate a seat on the Redskins Charitable Foundation Leadership Council. Is there someone here that can tell me or provide a little bit of information about what that is and perhaps if Monsters has something similar that they're doing? Madam President. Um, be a good uh, so I'm Bruce Allen with Washington Redskins. And uh, other than playing on the football field, and not me, fortunately, for Redskins fans in the room, uh, we're involved in the community. The Washington Redskins Charitable Foundation was set up in 1999 by Dan Snyder. And what it was to really do was foster goodwill in the community, but then it became something much more than that. We began to work in, in programs like Play 60, which is to get kids more active physically. We got into a Redskin Read program where we developed books and uh, donated hundreds of thousands of books to public libraries for kids. We get into breast cancer awareness, we get into any type of activity that can motivate a young man or a young girl into a uh, you know, prosperous part of society. And that's what we do. Because the Redskins is, you know, I've, under, I've heard all the economic talk here, and I've heard you all have some Monday morning quarterback people too. I can't wait to get back and tell our coach about that. <laughs> but what we do is, is, is talk about dreams for kids. And when we're talking about training camp, you're looking in kids' eyes. When our players at the end of a practice sign one autograph and make that, that visual connection with a young man or young girl, that will affect their lives. And we hope to do that every day. And that's our goal. Because with the Redskins, it's about our future. Today, we benefit from everything the previous coaches, previous players, and previous fans have done for us. We wouldn't have fans of just the Redskins today, which based on our record the last few years. But thanks to Coach Gibbs and going back to the great over-the-hill game, the Hawks, and, and John Riggins, as I mentioned, we have fans today. Our goal is for those fans to be there 20 years ago. And we're excited to be a part of this project because we think we're going to reach out to all of Virginia and into the Carolinas to steal from another team down there hmm. and, and create rest of the fans for the future. Thank you. Thank you. Bond score 
goes well beyond ourselves. All of you have to be very aware of what we've brought to the community and what we have received from the community, too. I also must tell you I have four brothers and brother-in-laws who are hearts and Eagles fans, and I have my work cut out for me when I go back to Philly. But we look forward to welcoming the Redskins to Richmond. Thank you, sister. All right, any other discussion by council? Yes. Mr. Jewell. Uh, that was a while that used to say that uh, sometimes if you don't put your own horn, you may not get to it. Uh, we appreciate Mr. Hilda's work, but I was the third home. I was the third home of them. Uh, uh, the fact is, that the Hilbert, the um, uh, Tyler, and Ms. Trammell, uh, we were on the phone all weekend, um, uh, putting this thing together to see if we can get some sanity in what appeared to be not, um, to purposely elude the opportunity to give schools their just due was a travesty when we first heard this presentation. Keep in mind, this baby is barely two weeks old, the council room, all these different moving parts, and it, it was just thrust on us a uh, uh, regular time to get questions uh, answered, holiday interceding in, in the middle of everything. Uh, Mr. Hill thought uh, he's a real trooper because, in fact, his wife was in the hospital. Um, and nurse made me for the last four days. Um, and so a lot of work went into it. I thank the administration for being forthcoming. Um, uh, they work diligently um, and, and we work things out. But uh, this deal certainly is not going to pay for all the school construction needs that the city has. Uh, in fact, in 2003, the report was. Uh, presented, uh, in which at then we had over $400 million worth of school construction needs. So that was on three, and on four the very next year, that council voted to build a reform and art center. The heck with the schools. It was another slap in the face. It was, it was me and Wilder who, in all five, began putting socket money away to build these schools, the four schools that, that, that we are building. And uh, um, that's a good thing, uh, that we needed those schools. There's nothing in the pipeline going forward from here to construct new schools or renovate new schools that I'm aware of. Uh, are we tapped out of money or are we tapped out of credit or are we tapped out of bond capacity or are we tapped out of priorities? That's the real question. And so it seems to me that this, this episode, this exercise, this paper, gives us an opportunity to reset some priorities here. Um, uh, that uh, our children are indeed our most valuable commodities, and we need to stop just saying it and act like it. Um, the fact is, uh, with regards to this deal, I think it's about the best we could do, uh, and it's foolish to allow the perfect to be the enemy of the good. Uh, and so uh, there's a lot of good that can grow from here. In fact, uh, I've been in business all my life, and I can tell you that uh, uh, good business is built on good relationships. We've got an opportunity to build some relationships with new partners here that could go take us to the moon. We do it right, uh, and we do it transparently, and we do it uh, for all the right reasons. So uh, I want to thank all who were involved in cleaning this paper up. Um, we got a good shot. Uh, we got a good shot to, in fact, uh, really throttle some, some tourism that, that we've been talking about for a long time. The riverfront plan, all of that can come into play here. We need to sell this city and we can use some professional help to teach us how to sell it. Apparently we haven't done a very good job of it in the past. 
not that's not for standing uh, we did the best we could and I thank my colleagues for all the work that you did and the patience that you had and, and all of us staying on the reservation and not yielding uh, before it was done. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jewell. The discussion on this resolution. Ms. Jewell. Thank you, Madam President. I will endeavor to be brief. I simply would like to thank uh, all of my colleagues who worked to uh, create this package of enhancements that will ensure that we adhere to the ordinance and its intent relative to surplusing of school property and uh, ensuring that the benefits inert uh, to schools. Uh, the increased revenue as well as the anticipated new tax dollars uh, will uh, be significant as we deliberate funding for schools uh, in this upcoming biennial budget process. And so, simply would like to say thank you to um, all who were involved and uh, uh, look forward to um, uh, finalizing this deal such that it inures even more greatly to the benefit of schools. Uh, Madam President, I appreciate this opportunity to have a few comments, and I especially want to thank Mr. Gilbert. Um, it has been a rough one for you in a lot of ways, and for him to have taken the time, and I want to thank your wife too for allowing you to um, take the time because we needed to work on this. And thank the administration.
more money to bring out and teach you all we're going to do in that area and for the citizens of Richmond, we say thank you. Thank you so much and thank you for being here today. Thank you, Ms. Trammell. Other comments and Mr. Hilbert's resolution? Okay, call the question. Council's annual resolution number 2012-R151. Mr. Conner? Aye. Mr. Samuels? Aye. Mr. Hilbert? Aye. Vice President Robert? Aye. Mr. Jewell? Aye. Ms. Nimbo? Aye. Ms. Trammell? Aye. Mr. Tyler? Aye. President Garcia? Aye. That paper is been adopted. Thank you, Madam Clerk. The next paper we're going to take is paper number 30. I'd like to read that into the record, Madam Clerk. Yes, item number 30 is ordinance number 2012-214 to declare surplus and to direct the conveyance of the property located at 5800 Patterson Avenue to the Economic Development Authority of the city for nominal consideration. 